Okay, hello everyone. Let's take a look at the market. And let's take a look at some maps as well while we're on it. Now, this is the SP500. Now, this is what happened when Trump signed the Hong Kong bill due to tensions between the US and the China. Uh, between US and China. So people had a bit of a worry about the trade deal. Boom. Okay, which is not, you know, normal. Nothing big, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, nothing at all. However, though, if you're following me on Facebook or LinkedIn, okay, this is me on LinkedIn, right? So let's see. Okay, you got I got some articles here. Now this one on the 20th of November, I posted this up. Okay, so I was suspecting the indices would be crashing. Okay, so and this was like Black November. The reason I called it Black November was it, you know. The way I calculated it was going to happen at the end of November. So at the end of the day, we were going to see something in November. And this move wasn't, okay, this was like news and stuff and so on. And then we had another fall there on the 29th. And then we had this up move going. Now, according to reading the sky, okay, it's all about reading the map, reading the sky, um, and how it's going to work out on a specific day what's going to happen on that day so i was thinking november end of november this is it this november is finalizing it's like sealing the deal and i said at the end of november we'll get a you know we'll have a big dip and the reason i said we're going to have a big dip is because if you take a look at oil there you go that's oil okay and that happened right on the 29th okay 29th of november us session nice okay now you might say well like a few of my trading friends said well what about oil you know the stock market because when the when oil fell stock markets were still up so this was the seal on the deal this is the oil chart and this is the article i wrote on the 30th after i posted this one on the 20th this is about gold and this is about Christmas crash that's coming, like pre-Christmas crash. Um, and I posted this on the 29th. Okay. This happened, boom, on that day. As you can see, posted that on the 30th. And there you go, on the 29th. Boom, boom, boom. Nice fall. Okay. So, a lot of people ask, well, before the... Uh, SP 500 and the indices had a big fall there yesterday. A lot of my friends said, well, the indices are still up. So what if oil goes down? Well, it's not so what if oil goes down because oil is related to the petrodollar. So if oil goes down, if oil is going through a crisis, you can bet yourself the economy will go through a crisis. If the economy is good, oil prices are high. If the economy is bad, oil prices are going to be low. So that's going to be pretty horrific okay so the minute the minute oil prices shot down at the end of like on the 29th right on the friday bang i said okay that's like the trigger that's the trigger and that's exactly what happened according to my article yesterday with the indices because that was the sign that the indices were going to fall off now so we did have some shorts coming in and we were doing live trading at lunchtime yesterday, 12.15, um, around 12.15. And the market was around here while we were doing I said, this is a good time to sell. And I said, after about 15 min minutes, we were still in the session. We were still in the, in the live trading session. Bang, it just clapped after about 15 minutes because we had some guys take a trade on the Dow Jones. Uh, and it was just there, also on the DAX. I said, DAX, Dow Jones, just sell it now. They're at a good spot to be sold. And this is exactly what happened. Just as we were talking about it, they just fell. That's DAX. This is Dow Jones. So, and that's Dow Jones. And the market was just here. Like, really, it was like, that's the 12 o'clock bar so we're doing analysis here and you know we just 
were talking about it and I said this is a really good spot to sell actually and after like 15 minutes we were still in the session it just started falling boom to one and then just kept going down 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 okay so um, so why did it do that okay so let's do this let's get back and see what happened I should have done this video before it happened but I didn't have time so normally I do the video before um, let's do this that's the second let's do recalculate okay there you go now this is a helio chart now a lot of traders don't look at helio they look at geocentric but it's not that you know mostly geocentric works it's true that it's mostly geocentric that works that's right however though however also you need to check out heliocentric as well for those big moments okay so this was the helio now let me just bring these down okay so you see this first now as you can see on the helio we've got a cross grand cross okay and this was like important and what's happening here is we've got the earth and the moon complex opposing pallas mercury opposing neptune now neptune is long-term stocks long-term investments if you're doing financial astrology real estate you know all these kinds of investments long-term investments long-term um, gains and so forth and mercury here is the trader okay so the trade the trader um, bringing the news bad news that's going to impact everyone on the planet but it's going to be at a logical place then the whole idea with this is reading the geometry behind it this t grand t square was obviously telling us there's some shit's going to hit the fan and that's true okay now then what we have here is this iron butterfly nice little complex neptune venus mars mercury now venus and mars they have a 120 degree nice trine aspect venus and mars telling us listen it's going to be fast it's going to be sudden okay so it's going to be a sudden move what's going to be a sudden move a sudden move that's going to impact trading on long-term investments and this is all kind of integrated together as one then you got Pluto and Saturn conjunct giving 90 degrees to Mars saying it's going to be bang bang it's going to be very sudden and deep so it's going to be a big fall and it's going to be a sudden fall and it's going to be from the tops because Venus is trying Mars here also what we need to pay attention to is Chiron and Jupiter now Chiron and Jupiter here are also very important because Chiron is an adjustment level okay it's a place where you want to sell or buy and Jupiter is obviously expansion and you've got a 90 degree aspect so there's a lot of bad things happening in the sky on the 2nd of December at 1 p.m. when that bar started falling off and this is the heliocentric now if you let's do this take a look at when these will be exact okay let's take a look at when they'll be exact okay there we go so we've got Neptune Mercury as you can see that was on the day yesterday same with Venus Neptune Earth 180 Pallas that's exact today okay um, Mercury 30 Mars so this whole thing is like exact within yesterday and today so this whole thing has got a lot of impact plus what else we've got Mars and Saturn as you can see that's over here this is like in two days so they're all very close to each other everything is like really stacked up and then you've got Mars 90 Pluto on the 7th so that tells us hey the seventh is a good day to be shorting as well let's see when's that going to be the seventh let's take a look seventh is a saturday so friday monday really 
would be a good good time for shorting as well as the market raises its head up this baby's got room to go then you've got pluto 120 juno mars 90 saturn on the fifth mars 90 pluto on the seventh mars 30 juno that's not going to be very strong but let's see if it's part of a uh, geometry let's take a look mars and juno yeah it's part of a triangle so this is actually going to work as well juno is juno is desire desirability but it's not commitment it's very short term it's like it's like you know juno is like a slut okay lack of commitment you know bang in bang out um irresponsible and when it comes to finance it's like get in and get out okay so pluto and juno and saturn it's making it desirable for a little for a short for a sudden short movement so what we want to do is we should be expecting sudden movements when the market retraces back up again so just be mindful on that mars 90 pluto obviously that's going to be like a sudden bad movement jupiter 90 chiron that is on the 11th so next week after you know seventh is saturday so um let's say on the sixth which is a friday on the fifth sixth the market should be at resistance levels selling off and then next week the moment it raises its head up for example if it raises its head up with pluto and juno all right take it up for a little bit in order to be sold suddenly again all right so that kind of reading is what we want to do and jupiter and uranus 120 on the 21st now you might think wow jupiter 120 uranus great uranus is change and jupiter is expansion also this is known as as a fame day so jupiter and uranus 120 degrees to each other on the helio means this is going to be a day to be remembered and they're becoming together exact on the 21st now the 21st of december is a tuesday so this week will probably be a day to remember in terms of how it influences the world um so this is interesting news for us and saturn and pluto obviously coming together conjunct in january and that's going to be like whoa it's going to be a whole different ball game so this on helio on the second um of december yesterday was really really interesting to see um how it all how it all fell apart um and also we've got on the latitudes as well something you need to take um, take a look at is how the latitudes are coming together like which planets are parallel and contra parallel to each other um, because they do make some aspects and this parallel and contra parallel is very very important as well you uh, as you get used to looking at things um, you know you'll get used to it now let's take a look at the geocentric Okay, here we go with the geocentric. Let's make this exact here and here as well. Now on the geocentric, it was also like at 1 p.m. Mercury 90 moon. Moon, obviously emotions. Mercury 90, the trader, negative emotions. Giving also to Pluto 30 degrees. It's only 30 degrees, but sometimes what you need to do is 30 degrees is not, a, you know, it's not a very strong aspect. And when you're looking at 30, 45 degree aspects, what you should be keeping in mind is, is, is there a geometry there? So when the moon, where's the moon? Let's see. Okay, there you go. Moon, Pluto, Mercury. So what you have here is a triangle and this geometry is important because you need to take a look at it from the whole perspective so moon and pluto 90 degrees to each other obviously this is the aspect that's like really powerful there this is going to be the influencing thing it's going to influence pluto business 
and trade in a negative way so humans emotions are you know pretty much uh, stressed a little bit well not a little bit 90 mercury moon so we've got a lot of emotions running here obviously negative with business and trading that's one thing um, the Sun and palace in conjunction that was at uh, let me show you this just bear with me this is a really good chart um, the software to get everything you know really exact I really love the way they calculate everything the calculations are really correct so I enjoy that however though this this you know it's really pain in the neck to use so I use this one for the daily stuff and what you can see here is let's see what we've got here as you can see Sun and palace okay which is that aspect here and they're conjunct right and they're right at the top at the mid heaven so at the mid heaven look at this okay they're conjunct now the Sun is the entity palace is logical when we're looking at trading with palace it's like a logical spot to buy and sell they're conjunct they're right at the peak right at the top of everything so while that's happening Saturn and Pluto they're nearly conjunct they're not going to be exact yet but they're like on the way to exact so they're pretty powerful at the moment they're both big giving a trine here to Mercury and Mars is giving a sextile not trine sorry they're both sextiles to Venus okay so there's some push upwards but that push upwards is over right here and now these aspects are coming in if I move this like that just bear with me okay as you can see that moon okay the moon mercury is get, getting into play 6 30 a.m. in the morning it's coming exact at 2 26 so when the market is already here in fact right here just before that it's already showing signs at 10 a.m. let's take a look at 10 a.m. here let me get back to the SP 500 because I can use the one hour chart there already at 10 a.m. that's where you are you're at the peak you're like you've done what you need to do as you can see how this moved bang up right on 10 a.m. Okay, and that was because Pluto and Saturn were giving Mercury and also Venus to Mars. There you go. At 9.30, sudden move up. It was taking it up somewhere. So Saturn and Pluto. Pluto is a business planet. It's supporting Mercury, taking the market up. Saturn is limitation. It's a target. It's saying, listen, dude, this is as far as you're going. And that's it. Mars sudden movements giving a trine uh, sorry giving a sextile to um, to Venus which is also conjunct Venus oh no they're not conjunct Venus okay so Venus is also a monetary planet so this is a sudden move up to a certain limit which is going to take you to the top right there so 1130 we should be at the top and this is the 10 o'clock bar finishing at 11 and that's the top and then there you go these guys are coming in the 90 degree aspects as you can see moon mercury giving a trade giving the trader the negative aspect and also you got to understand SP 500 is influenced by the moon if you take a look at its natal uh, you'll find it very interesting so um, first when you got to make these interpretations before you start making the interpretations are you got to check out their natal so you understand what planet is influencing it at what you know at, at what strength so when you're reading a map you have to really kind of like um, it's like you've got to read it for what you're looking at because the same thing doesn't go for for other things so this is SP 500 
um, and the indices because we were expecting a crash then. So there you go. Now that's coming exact soon. So the minute it's up at the top, that's where you got to sell off. And that's exactly what we did. And bang, it started just moving down. Boom, 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 boom. Just kept going down, down, down. Okay, as you can see. And it stopped on the five o'clock bar. So let's do this. Okay, so it stopped on the five o'clock bar. Why? Okay, it slows down here. As you can see, this is now using its last force. And then, there you go. Once again, it's coming into action at 7 p.m. because it made a pullback. And then, down again here. Okay, there we go. So now we've got a sideways market balanced out today. So let's look at today. Okay, so that's where we're looking at today. So today, once again, look at that. Sun Palace. Let's take a look at the aspects, which ones are pretty much exact. And as you can see, Sun and Palace are still at the top, but they're not conjunct. Okay, but they're still at the top. That's good for us. And the market retraced up. This Uranus Jupiter will probably take it to a nice point of change with the moon let's see 340 isn't that isn't that nice it takes it up 340 is actually 330 my time is when new york opens right because i'm behind new york uh, i'm ahead of new york so market takes new new york opens up market will probably start to go up let's do this we should come to a point of positive change and then a nice logical spot to sell this is December 9 okay this is going to be exact on December 9 so today December 3 so we might not see the impact of this a lot but what we will be seeing is uh, remember I said the 7th so from the 5th onwards since um, so the 6th, 5th, 6th, Thursday, Friday, and then the 7th is a Saturday. So um, Monday onwards, we should be at a really nice spot to be selling. And that's December 4th as well. So this is going to be exact. So still some shorts are going to come. So as the market raises its head up, we should be shorting at certain levels. And this is Mars and Vesta. This is also December 9. Look at that. Vesta means fans your supporters so all of a sudden we're going to have supporters having a bad opinion and that is parallel as you can see to jupiter and chiron which are again going to be exact on the 9th of december so this whole thing is going to kind of you know go up for a retracement and then bang up for a retracement and bang it's going to keep some kind of a rhythm as such so it'll be starting to sell off in December um, I should have done the video before I'm gonna actually start doing videos more often however though this is how I'm reading this stuff you have to first get the natal out you have to measure what planets are in effect when they're coming into effect and then read it out oops according to the movements uh, of the ascendant and the midheaven. Okay, my previous videos, I noted how I set this whole thing up. Uh, as you can see, it's not a Placidus, it's an equal MC. Um, I just make sure these are all equal. For me, the important thing are the aspects. I do not use star signs, I do not use houses. I use what's happening in reality to kind of read it out. Okay, some it's a bit weird for some people because a lot of people are in astrology, look at houses and so on, 
um, and star signs, but I don't. Um, it's just a different way of reading the charts. As far as I'm concerned, this works out better. All right, so where to sell? Your first point of sell is here. We've got non-farm payroll coming out, so let's take a look at Friday. Friday is going to be interesting, isn't it? Let's see. Okay, just to just to see where we we're at. I was just switching to to where we we're at. Okay, listen. I was going to go to what's going to happen on Friday for non-farm payroll, but just a minute ago when we did the when we did the um, look on today, right now, remember I said, look at the setup once again. The sun is at the top with Pallas, a logical spot to sell. Okay, and Uranus and Jupiter will be bringing about change, and Chiron and Jupiter 90. So they're either going to push it down, okay, to, it'll be going to a support level, and then possibly. Uranus and Jupiter, a point of change, will go to a point of change, which will be positive. So if you're selling up here, be careful. But the market should go down with Chiron and Jupiter, all right, for, <coughs> for a place of support where they'll be buying a little bit. But it's the same kind of thing. So around here. Now, remember this is going to be exact on the 9th. So the market should be pushing down as the market goes up if they should be selling up they should be selling so that around december 9 <coughs> which is monday we should end up possibly at a spot where chiron is an adjustment level and jupiter is expansion where we'll be at a low so the, the market should be pushing it down and look what's happening which is exactly as i said okay there we go just right now point of sell and the beautiful thing but while using astrology and the ATAM so I've got the ATA the astrology trading um, uh, um, astrological astrolo astrology technical analysis ATA and the automated technical analysis method which is this so it's just nice from resistance coming down matching exactly to where the Sun and Palace was together so that's 11:30 as you can see and the market this is the 11 o'clock bar as you can see okay so that was nice and easy going so a short here to targets around here possibly down to here again All right so there's some trading that we can do intraday by just using this now what's important is to our topic What's going to happen on Friday? Non-farm payroll. Okay, this is what it's looking like on Friday, 3.30. Wow, it's looking like all over the shop. Okay, so let's also take a look at what we've got here. All right, so this is also the 6th of December, as you can see. If I'll just move it a little bit more this way. All right, 6th of December, as you can see. 3.30 p.m. Now then, what have we got here? Let's see if we have a geometry. Uranus, Chiron, Chiron to Jupiter, Jupiter to... Uranus. Okay, so that's good. We've got one triangle here. We've got Nep which are, um let's see also what are exact ones. So the exact ones on the day are going to be Moon 180. Oops, sorry. Moon 180 Juno. That's good. Opposition Moon 150 Mars. So sudden movements obviously going to be coming in. And Venus 120 Vesta. We might actually see the market move up on the news. But only to be sold again. Only to be sold again. Only to be sold again from resistance. That's right. And next week it'll also be, obviously, 
um, we're going to have to work on support and resistance again on the 9th as well. So probably the market will fall down until the 9th where we'll come to a support level around there. And then at that point, we might be looking at buying because that's where some buyers are going to be coming in on the 9th, possibly the 10th as well. And then a nice point of change on the 15th. So on the 15th, we might have a move going up. So we're coming down in order to be bought next week. So this week, as you can see, let's see if we can read this chart properly. This is 3.30. Obviously, we're going to have... This is December 9. What's active here? This is December 8. So Neptune and Sun, we're going to have to short from the resistance. That's going to be that. However, though, then we've got Uranus and Jupiter. That's December 15. That's December 6. So Moon and Pallas. So the market will be at a place where we should be logically selling and it should take us to a support afterwards moon also 90 no 180 judo that should also be taking us down also at that time that should be a sudden movement sudden cell movement oops with mars oh come on there you go mars and vesta Okay, so nice sudden movement. We should be going down from a logical resistance on Friday. And then it'll be a bit choppy afterwards. So they'll take us down and then they'll take us to a place off. Okay, so the market will go down for a bit, possibly. And let's see. Yeah, wow. So I'm expecting the market to go down on Friday. Venus, let's take a look at the charts here. What is most exact? So it's up to 7.15. So until the evening time, we should be going down. But we should have a... We should be coming to a pickup place afterwards. Possibly around Sun. Let's see that. Yep, there you go. After... There you go. Around 8.45. And then we should have a short again. Well, it's going to get messy down there. On Friday, I would be shorting it. We need to check this out in a more in a more in-depth way. Alright, so this is what's going to happen, 3.15, 3.30 p.m. As you can see, it's going to go down. They're going to take it up to a point of logical sell, and then the market is going to go down with the news. That's what it's looking like. And... So we'll be looking to short. If we're the resistance, we'll definitely look to short. What you want to do with astrology is match it to your technical analysis. Okay. So if on Friday I'm at a nice resistance level, I don't know, maybe it's like a, a weekly pivot or a daily pivot, whatever. If I'm at a nice resistance or if I'm in a flag formation or a pennant or whatever, uh, and if I'm at resistance, then boom, that's where we can sell with a nice tight little stop loss. Looks like, though, <clears throat> it's going to be going down in the news. All right, which is good. Nothing bad happening there. Um, and obviously with the news, it's going to be sudden. Where's Mercury here? Where do we have the conjunction? Saturn and Pluto is the only conjunction. And they're going to be... Uh, 
yeah they're going to be pushed up to a limit okay so they're going to be coming up to a limit and then that's going to be taking it out also once again it'll be good to sell as you can see on the t-square here even in the morning session they might be selling it earlier in the morning as you can see oops there we go so Asia might start selling off with the t-square with the moon and then just before the news we go up to a logical resistance to be sold off again and when the news comes out that's three o'clock yeah when the news comes out it's down again I think on Friday we'll be going downtown if it's at a resistance tight stop loss sell S&P 500 we'll see how that goes and how that unravels let's take a look at the Helio here as well what's exact on the 6th Mercury 150 Uranus Pluto 120 Juno Venus 90 Vesta Mars 90 Pluto so those are going to be as you can see that's going to be exact at 4 p.m. so Mars Pluto sudden down movement sudden down movement to a support level so by Monday on the 11th which is going to be what 7 is Saturday 8 9 10 11 Wednesday we should be at a uh, we should be at a bottom where the market will want to pick up until um, well the market will want to pick up and do sideways up a little bit we'll have to check it day by day but in the meantime Friday looking nasty and it's looking bad especially from Asia session onwards so these short orders might be coming in then as you can see this T square is going to be right there okay so moon Juno Ceres Ceres here is uh, it's it's um, it's a financial asteroid, so possibly we'll have some sell orders coming in. We'll be at a bottom probably, and from that bottom the market will pick up sideways, side up kind of thing. Not too heavy buying. It's going to be limited buying, probably sideways and side up a little bit until we get to a resistance point, and then. look at that again 115 it's, it's gonna be again pushed down it's gonna be a push down or it's gonna be at the bottom okay so this might be a market where it's at a support level and until the news the market might pick up a little bit which is going to be limited until 3:30 and then at 3:30 again that's it we're just gonna be the sky is empty as you can see it'll just gonna be shorting it down so we might have some bad news on Friday on the non-farm payroll worthwhile checking it out anyway if you had a resistance I'd be selling let's see all right all the best it's been a bit of a long video but the whole idea is I'm actually getting back into it as I as I do the video so I'm like explaining it to myself again like refreshing myself and then getting back into the routine of things right in the interim have a good day